Teen health and medical reasons that cause hair loss. Everyone loses hair, a little bit falls out during your shower while washing your hair as well as during brushing and styling. This is normal. On average, people lose 50 to 100 hairs a day as old strands of hair get replaced with new ones. But when hair loss is excessive, it can be a traumatic and depressing experience for both men and women. It is true that genetics, stress, use of chemical-based hair products, heating tools for hair styling, a poor diet, exposure to harsh climatic conditions and improper hair care can all cause extensive shedding of strands. But sometimes hair shedding is due to an underlying health problem. Once the health issue is addressed, the problem of excess hair loss usually resolves on its own. Here are the top 10 health and medical reasons that cause hair loss. 1. Alopecia areata. Alopecia areata, an autoimmune disorder in which the immune system attacks hair follicles, structures that contain the roots of the hair, is one of the main reasons behind hair loss. This disorder affects both men and women. It is most common in people younger than 20, but people of any age may be affected. It is characterized by hair falling out in round patches from the scalp. The condition rarely results in total hair loss or complete baldness. In some cases, hair loss can occur in other parts of the body as well. The exact cause of this disorder is not known, however it may be triggered by stress or a family history of other diseases, such as type 1 diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis. There's currently no cure for alopecia areata but there are many treatment options that may help your hair grow back faster and prevent future hair loss. Consult your doctor to learn about the treatment options. 2. Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome, PCOS Hair thinning as well as rapid hair loss are common signs of GOES, which causes a hormonal imbalance in the body. About 1 in every 10 to 15 women in the United States suffer from this health problem. GOES leads to an overload of testosterone or androgen hormones in the body, which interact with the enzyme found in hair follicles and convert to its derivative testosterone DHT. It is the DHT that binds with the hair follicles, causes them to shrink and ultimately leads to thinner hair. A 2011 study published in the International Journal of Women's Health notes that a reduction in androgens due to GOES reduces new hair growth and slows the growth of terminal hair that is already present. Another study published in 2013 in the same journal found that patterned alopecia, more common in females than males, is commonly caused by an underlying endocrine disorder, such as GOES or late-onset adrenal hyperplasia. Other symptoms of GOES include facial hair growth, irregular periods, acne, and cysts on the ovaries. Consult your doctor as soon as possible. Timely diagnosis and proper treatment can help you avoid the complications of GOES, such as type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, infertility and depression, to name a few. 3. Iron Deficiency Anemia those who suffer from iron deficiency anemia often complain of thinning and brittle hair. In fact, hair loss is one of the most prominent and earliest symptoms of iron deficiency in the body. Due to a low iron level in the body, the blood lacks sufficient red blood cells that transport oxygen to cells throughout your body, including the hair follicles. Without enough oxygen, hair becomes deprived of essential nutrients required for growth and strength. A 2006 study published in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology reports that iron deficiency is linked to hair loss. It may even be related to alopecia areata, androgenetic alopecia, telogen effluvium and diffuse hair loss. Women with iron deficiency are at a risk of telogen hair loss, according to a 2009 study published in Acta Dermatovenerologica Croatica. Serum ferritin levels below or equal to 30 nanograms per milliliter are strongly associated with telogen hair loss. Another 2013 study published in the Journal of Korean Medical Science confirms the connection between iron deficiency and female pattern hair loss, especially in premenopausal women. Along with hair loss, if you suffer from extreme fatigue, cold hands and feet, weakness and pale skin, it's time to get your iron level checked. If you have an iron deficiency, eating iron-rich foods or taking an iron supplement after consulting your doctor can help a lot.
4. Hypothyroidism, underactive thyroid. Hypothyroidism, or underactive thyroid, is another cause of hair loss. The thyroid gland is responsible for secreting thyroid hormones, which are needed for proper growth and development of the body, including your hair. An underactive thyroid doesn't produce enough thyroid hormones, and this can affect your hair growth and the texture of the hair on your scalp as well as eyebrows and body hair. A 2008 study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism reports that thyroid hormones directly affect several aspects of hair anatomy, from the hair growth cycle to the hair's pigmentation. Another study published in the Indian Journal of Dermatology in 2008 notes that hypothyroidism is associated with alopecia areata. The study also emphasizes screening for thyroid abnormalities in patients with chronic, recurrent and extensive alopecia areata. Along with hair loss, other symptoms of hypothyroidism are unexplained weight gain, fatigue, constipation, depression and difficulty concentrating. Proper diagnosis and thyroid hormone medication can restore your hormone levels to normal. This in turn will stop hair loss and allow your hair to maintain its growth and strength. 5. Lupus Lupus, a type of autoimmune disease, can also result in hair loss. In this disease, your own immune system attacks healthy tissues and leads to inflammation. As a result of the inflammation of the skin and scalp, hair loss occurs. In fact, thinning hair is often one of the first signs of lupus. Hair loss in lupus patients may occur mostly while shampooing or brushing their hair. Plus, the hair becomes dry, brittle and coarse. Moreover, lupus can lead to autoimmune thyroid disease, which is another common cause of hair loss. A 2009 study published in the North American Journal of Medical Sciences reports hair loss to be one of the most striking clinical features of active systemic lupus erythematosus. Along with hair loss, if you suffer from extreme fatigue, joint pain, swelling, muscle pain, headaches, or ulcers, photosensitivity and a butterfly-shaped trash across the cheeks and nose, consult your doctor. Timely treatment may help correct hair loss problems. 6. Telogen effluvium Telogen effluvium is another very common cause of hair loss. It is characterized by an abrupt onset of diffuse hair loss for a couple of months after a triggering event. Triggering events may include post-pregnancy, major surgery, drastic weight loss or extreme stress. Hair loss due to telogen effluvium often occurs during shampooing, styling or brushing. Telogen effluvium results from the early entry of hair in the telogen phase, the resting phase of the hair follicle. Fluctuating hormones that occur following pregnancy and childbirth often result in excess hair loss. But as soon as the hormones are back to normal, the hair loss problem also resolves. Just like post-pregnancy, hormonal changes also occur when a woman enters menopause. During this time, the estrogen hormone levels are low which makes the hair dry and also causes hair loss. Apart from a hormonal imbalance, anemia and hypothyroidism can also cause telogen effluvium, fluvium, 